All right. Um, I'm going to show you what all you get whenever you order an R4i card. Uh, depends on the package you get. Um, I ordered an R4i Gold, as you can see here. Alright, so when you open it... Here's the card, and here's the, the USB reader. So, you get a quick look at the card. You can see it says R4i Gold Pro. And on the back right there, that's where you put your little micro SD card. And then the package also comes with a little micro uh, USB reader in case uh, you don't have one for yourself. It's very simple, just SD card there, plug it into your computer. Very simple. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all you get with it. Now I'm going to show you how to get it set up and how to put it Now what you want to do is, uh, yeah, you go to this website right here and, and you download the kernel that you need for it. Now I'll have it linked in the description so you won't have to go searching for it. So all you really got to do is just download the kernel. Okay, so choose your language. Um, I'm, I'm going for English because that's my language. Just... Yeah, save it. Okay, so now we got it, and as you can see, there's all the data that goes into the root of your SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the reader into uh, my SD card, and I already have uh, some stuff on here. So uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna back it up. Okay, we're still going. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna back it up real quick just uh, give me a sec okay so now I got that alright so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go ahead download Rufus I'll also have that linked in the description below as well even though it's really designed for uh, making bootable devices I use it because it's very fast at formatting stuff so I'm just gonna yeah, save it and just run it. It's gonna ask for admin access. It's pretty usual. Okay, so you want to choose the device that has your SD card and make sure it's set to FAT32. And uh, turn quick formatting on. Do not create a bootable disk and do not create extended label. Well, you can if you want, but there's no point. And then I'm gonna name it so I know which one this is. So I'm just gonna name it R4i Gold. And then you just go ahead and click start. Yes. Okay. Now once that is done, you can go ahead and close this. Go ahead and open it up. So let's see here. USB drive. Uh, let's see here. Local. And for some reason it didn't save the name. But that doesn't really matter. So now what you want to do is you want to copy all the stuff from the archive, put it in there. I'm going to take a little bit. Okay, so now once it's complete, now you got that. Now you don't, uh, now whenever you want to put games on it, you just put it in the root. You don't have to put it in a folder. Um, so watch, I'll show it, like, it's very simple. All you really got to do is just open up the wherever you have your ROMs, like I do right here, and just go ahead and put the ROM in there that you want to use. So for now I'm just going to use um, the Super Mario Bros. And there we go. So now that we got that, be sure to eject it before you uh, uh, take it out like that, because then it can corrupt. So, once you got that, now uh, now let's continue back to the DS. So now once you got that done, now you just have the R4i chip and with and the thing with your micro SD card. So uh, give me a second. It's very really simple. All you gotta do is just uh, put uh, the SD card into the R4i chip. So yeah, give me a sec. 
make sure the the label is facing outward and then just put a little pressure on it but don't put too much pressure on it and now what you do is then you just plop it into your DS I'm using a DSi now uh, I might be on limited time because I forgot to charge my DSi don't really have a charger right now so let's try to get this as quick as possible so when you go and load it you can see right here it has this right here so if you go ahead and load it it loads the main menu for the RFRI chip so now I click games and right there it sees it right there uh, my new Super Mario Bros game so if I click it it, it loads it it's creating a save file and stuff and yeah it works works no problem works like a charm okay so now that that's out of the way I don't know if there's a way to quickly exit back out to the menu I'll have to do some experimenting with it but now once you got that you're all really set and yeah you're all good so thank you guys for watching I'm sorry for not uploading many videos recently I've been dealing with a lot of stuff so yeah be sure to <laughs>